YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy MBM, man. Got another one for you. Um, I'm trying to drop them as much as I can now. Last video didn't do so good, but we got to pick the algorithm back up. But today is a simple tutorial. For those of you who have SSL 12 and then you got uh, SSL 360, you're using the uh, SSL plugins, and you're trying to get transport to work, but you don't know how, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super simple and easy. Man, the, the thing I love about uh, SSL 360, it is a very dope software. Um, let's pull that up real quick. Let's see where you at. Okay. I'll uh, maximize it. So this is the home, you know, solid state logic for those, for those of you who don't know. And then um, you got your uh, DAW transport, your configuration here. So you got DAW 1, which is uh, MIDI ports. So you got 1 through 4, 5 through 8, and then 9 through 12. So whatever DAW you're using, whatever three DAWs you're using, you can use up to three DAWs, and you can actually use the transport, which is this right here. This will be the plugins and stuff that will load up. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. And um, when you click play, you're not getting anything from the DAW. So play, stop, uh, rewind, fast forward, or record is not doing anything. So your host is not uh, set up. Your transport is not set up. And then once you do it, you just want to make sure you got a uh, transport click. And then we're going to head over. Let's see. Um, you don't have to do anything in here. This is just your uh, interface right here, pretty much. You know, you got your uh, line inputs for your headphones and stuff like that, which is pretty dope. Man, it's, it's, it's a dope software, man. Like, you're able to mix through the actual software. That's what I do love about it. You can actually mix your sounds through this. You can mute your sounds through this and just have total control through the software. Um, if you're if you're savvy at mixing with uh, SSL plugins, and um, right now I think they got an SSL 4K uh, plugin, but I'm using the actual Channel Strip 2 and the, I believe it's the uh, bus compressor too. So, and you'll notice that you'll notice when I load these things up, you'll see it. But let's get straight into it. So I am going to minimize this, and I'm going to take you here. So the first thing you want to do to be able to control a play button from here. So if I press play here, it'll play. So you notice I can press play from the actual DAW itself, but if I push play here, I get no response from it. So therefore, I got to set it up in Studio 1.6 DAW. Now, I know how to do it in uh, Logic and Ableton. So if you got those DAWs, I'll show you that one uh, later on in um, another tutorial. So let's minimize this. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to Studio 1 and you want to go to Preferences. And then from here, you want to go to external devices. Now, in here, you may have like your MIDI keyboards and stuff set up like this. So this pretty much is a MIDI configuration. So all you want to do is you want to go to add. And then in here, look for uh, Mackie. So I'll take it straight down. Now you got Mackie. So you got Mackie control. You got uh, the HUI. Now you can try the HUI. I haven't tried the HUI, but let me see how the HUI work. So, but in order you want to receive from... In order to set it up, what you want to do is go from receive from, and then you're going to go down to the port. Now, remember, in order to know what uh, port short, what port it is, you want to go inside of the control setup, the DAW and transport setup. So I got mine in uh, DAW 2, which is 5 and 8, 5 through 8. So inside of Studio 1, let's minimize this real quick. You want to select, what I, what I would do is I select... Uh, MIDI port 5, and then MIDI port 5 here. Now, if if the hue doesn't work, then I'll show you the other one, which will be the, contr which will be the control. So I'm going to hit OK here, and then I'm going to hit OK there, and then let's go down here and see if it's synced up. Now, we'll know once we get here if it's synced. It's nothing. So that's not the one that's going to be for you. So in Studio 1, let's go back to uh, Preferences. And then let's go inside of here, double click it. Actually, let's just get rid of this one. Now let's add the control. So go to control. And I know this one worked because this is what I use, but I just wanted to try the hue. So what you want to do is go to five, 
you want to receive you want to receive from five and send to five so boom you're gonna hit okay you know hit okay here now let's go back to the SSL now boom we got it set up here sometimes I don't know man it, I do get a little problem with the uh, stop button just showing itself um, but if I actually pl press play now you will actually hear the beat So the next thing I want to do is now you're able to control the software through the plugins as well. So on on the actual, um, let's see, I'll just highlight it from here to the crash and then I'll put um, SSL channel strip two. It's going to load them up to all of them. Now we actually got the kick up. So. In order to see that all this work inside of the 360 software, just click on 360 on the SSL uh, native channel strip two, and then here you will, you'll see, and you'll notice the uh, sounds that are uh, stereo they have width, so where you can actually give the sound a little bit of width as well, and then you'll see up here where the sounds are playing. And you notice I can actually click solo on each instrument and then you'll see the instruments playing from there. So you actually can um, you can control everything from here. Now, if you want to mix your beat from here, you can as well. And using SSL uh, plugins are super dope. And it's super dope, man. You actually got dynamics, and then you got you got your uh, you got your uh, your gate, you got your EQ, your high frequency, your high mid frequencies, your low mid frequencies. Man, you you got everything, and it's pretty dope because you can just mix from here if you want to. That's what I do like about it. So if you're a fan of using SSL plugins, that'll be a good thing for you. And another good thing is being able to add it on the bus as well. You can add the SSL bus compressor. Let's see where is it. I know I got it now. Oh, this is the no, it should be. I don't know if I downloaded it. It says V6. Let me see. Um, do, 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 do. Now the 4K B, they want you to, you know, you gotta actually buy that one. Um, I really don't use it like that, so you know what I'm saying. But it's a, it's, it's good to have. So I'm thinking about purchasing it. And then here is the actual bus uh, compressor plug-in. And then with this one, it doesn't have the three. Yes, I think it does. Do it? Yeah, here we go. Plug-in and mixer. You just click on there. And then here you have the uh, bus compressor as well right here, which is super dope. So if you're getting ready to master your song, you can actually throw the bus compressor on it. And like I said, I like mine to read around zero to uh, four, you know, probably in between. That's super dope, man. Like, you know, it's easy to get your transport going. And, um, you know, you can do the same thing with Logic, Ableton, 
And I believe, um, the, well, the only ones they do have is Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, and you see Ableton, Studio One, Luna, and Power Remix, whatever doll that is. I never heard of that, but I don't use it. So um, the only ones you see I use in here right now is Logic, Studio One, and Ableton Live, which is on my uh, MacBook and one. So, yeah, man, this is pretty much how you do it. And like I said, if you're confused, just go back into the video, and the video will definitely show you. But this is a great software. They always updating it, doing new things to it, and that's what I do like about it. So if you got Solid State Logic 360, man, this this this, this uh, tutorial is for you, and it'll definitely show you what you can do with it. Hey, it's your boy NBM. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for tuning in, and um, I got y'all on the next video. Don't trip. And I got some free stuff coming, so just rock with me. I got you. All right, peace.